You can see the tremendous scar on his stomach, what they're doing to help him to try to save his life. And the shooter, he's just out on bail. Coach Greg, and what is going on in this world? We're going to go over shocking footage of IFBB Pro Shane Post, who was shot over a parking space. And so as a result of this, Shane Post lying in his bed, fighting for his life. And guess what? The shooter's not even in jail. They arrest him, release him on bail. Oh, you just shot someone, almost killed him for no reason at all. And we're just going to let you go. What is going on in this world? First, we have people attacking vehicles with machetes. Then just the other day, guy enraged on test and trend literally punches a guy over stepping on his foot and kills the guy. And so you never know what can happen. No matter how much muscle you have, no matter how big of a fighter you are, you never know what's going to happen with the other person. Do they have a knife, a gun? Are they mentally unstable? And so let's go over what happens in this video. It was three o'clock on a Tuesday here at these townhomes in Waxahachie. Irina Post was waiting for her husband Shane to get dropped off by a co-worker. And so his co-worker is literally just parking the vehicle to let out her husband Shane out of the vehicle. Irina tells us within seconds of parking their townhome neighbor. He's literally next door. And so as soon as they park the vehicle, Nikki Brown, their neighbor, walks up to him and shoots him in the torso over a parking space. This is their neighbor. He does all of this in front of the guy's wife who's holding a baby. And so after he gets shot, he's hopping away saying, stop, what are you doing? Stop. They arrest the guy and they let him out on bail. And so imagine the guy who shot your husband is literally out on bail and living right next to you. What happens if he goes up and does it again? I simply don't understand when you have violent offenders, criminals who are dangerous to people, potentially killing them, how are they allowed to roam the streets free? Shane Post is in the ICU at Methodist Dallas, will be for at least a week. He is stable but has major injuries to his liver, colon, pancreas. The bullet is still in him. And so the bullet is still inside him and it damaged his liver, colon, pancreas. He's going to be in ICU at least a week. Don't know if he'll be able to make a full recovery or not. Who knows if he'll ever be able to compete as a bodybuilder ever again doing what he loves. All because his co-worker parked in his neighbor's parking space to let him out to go see his wife. You can see the tremendous scar on his stomach, what they're doing to help him to try to save his life. And the shooter, he's just out on bail, free to do as he pleases. Waxahachie shooting victim recovering, but family concerned as suspect is released. I mean, I have no words. I don't know what to say to this. How is the suspect at large? How do they let him go? And you can see he's laying in a hospital bed. I wish I could feel all the pain for him. I love you. Shane underscore post underscore heart symbol. And as you can see in the Instagram post, they have set up a GoFundMe page. It says GoFund.me. Please click the link in the description if you wish to help them in any way. And I'm sure we all are hoping for a full and speedy recovery. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset IP Pro. Please check out one of the bloops. And if you want to join our nearly 200,000 newsletter subscriber list, click the link in the description. Free training program. Free nutrition program. Subscribe. Click the bell button. Comment for the algorithm. And until next time, I am out.